Are you tired of going to YouTube or Google for answers to your home improvement questions? Maybe you have more projects than you have time. No matter where you are in the process, Pro 93 Home Solutions is ready to serve you. Pro 93 is a local, veteran-owned company offering residential and commercial remodeling, cleaning, and security. Contact us today at 458-4135 or online at pro93homesolutions.com. Let the pros at Pro 93 find the solution for your home or business. That's 458-4135. Happy Saturday, everybody. Welcome to Home Solutions, your only local home and garden broadcast. We're coming to you live from the Mix 1041 studios. Dennis Purvis here with you, as always. Hope you're having a wonderful week. I uh, hope you're having a uh, good start to your Saturday, as maybe you're driving around town this morning, tuned in on the radio, either on Mix 1041 or 1013 The Buzz. Maybe you're headed out to check some things off your honeydew list. You've got some home improvements you're looking out for today. Uh, you're headed to one of the local hardware stores, garden centers to try to get some things checked off. Thank you for listening. Maybe you're streaming at home. Uh, maybe you're on the Mix 1041 app, which if you don't have downloaded onto your smartphone, you need to do that right away. Um, some great information there, plus a bunch of mixed TV, plus uh, all the different stations here in the family. Um, or maybe some of you are just uh, watching on Facebook. So everybody wave, everybody wave, be nice. Uh, I'll get to our guest here in just a second. As always, we are brought to you by Pro 93 Home Solutions. And I may be a little biased, but we are one of the kindest, gentlest, funnest coolest uh, general contractors in the area we love to partner with you on your next home improvement project no matter how big or small maybe you just want to update some bathrooms kitchens uh, maybe you want to renovate some basement or garage space into living space um, full additions new roof line uh, maybe you need a new roof whatever whatever the case is free estimates uh, check us out on pro93homesolutions.com click on that contact us tab that once you send that that comes to everybody's phone so somebody will get back to you very shortly and schedule an estimate for you again always free of charge or you can just give us a call the old-fashioned way 458-4135 uh, option one will get you directly to uh, someone to get you scheduled for an estimate um, remember we also have uh, our clean team wendy and the crew are ready to come out whether you've got residential, small, commercial, whatever you've got, uh, we'd love to come out and uh, make it clean and smell great for you. We offer Green Clean with Metal Luca products that uh, contain no chlorines, no ammonias. So if you've got one of those folks, uh, maybe that's got asthma or allergies or just you can't stand that bleach smell, we've got an answer to that problem for you. So we would love to come talk to you again, 458-4135. So shameless plug over. I'm very excited. Um, we're going to go a little different way today. So we talk about home and garden every week and how to try to give you tips on, uh, you know, things you can do around the home, around your yard, um, and, and introduce you to some local folks that are going to help you maximize everything you're trying to do. Well, house, houses are pretty, uh, pretty uh, useless without health. So today we're going to talk about how to make you better and give you some options here in town, show you folks that uh, I can tell you personally that I've used and kind of changed my opinion of medicine in general for that matter. Uh, but uh, we'll talk about that here in a little bit. But I'm talking, of course, about direct primary care. Uh, and we've got with us today um, one lovely uh, representative and then Tim Tatum's here too. <laughs> so, uh, Tim, thank you so much for being here today, buddy. Thanks for having us. And uh, Stacy Flowers, who I'm going to be really nice to because she's also my doctor. So I'm just going to I'm just going to be really, really nice. Um because she's really, really nice to me. So hi, Stacy. Hey, glad to be here. Thank you. Um, so let's talk a little bit about, I, I think the best thing is just kind of, Tim, if you just, you know, I've, I've had you in, not only um, do they do individuals, but they also can come into your business and I'll let him describe that. And I've heard him talk to uh, our crew and our contractors um, about what they do. And he's got a fantastic uh, pitch. I know you've got it bottled up, ready to go. So tell everybody what makes you guys different from every other medical office in town. All right. So Dennis, before you met us, did you ever need to go to the doctor and didn't? Uh, all the time. Why? Uh, time. Time? Time was the biggest thing for me. I got, I have insurance, but I just, you lose half a day. I don't care when your appointment is. Okay. So typically the answer to that question is either cost or access. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, our cost is very minimal. So uh, for our uh, 
retail clients, that's folks who hear us on Facebook or hear us on Mix 104.1 or whatever and click, go to our website and click on is $70 a month. If you're a business, we can negotiate a little bit. Yeah. We, we do some little, we're a small business. We want to, we want to support small businesses so we can do some, you know, m- modify the rates a little bit to help that. But, um, you know, this is, this is the neatest thing I've ever done in my life. I've been in mental health for 25 years and, uh, two of my business partners came to me with this concept of direct primary care. Basically it's like Netflix for your primary care. Yeah. You pay a monthly membership and you have access, you know, you can binge all you want. You can come see us, you know, as many times as you want, or you can just see us when you need us. And I'll, and just to clarify a little bit there, folks, that's $70 a month, period. Like it's whether you need them or not. And, and am I wrong? There's no contract with that. It's a month to no. month deal. No. Um, so you're looking at not, not even $20 a week. So, and if, if, if for those, everybody that's listening said, I don't need that. I have insurance. What's your last copay at your doctor? I bet it was somewhere around $70. And how much time did you take off work? How much time did you lose? How much time did you spend with your provider? Because that's the thing that kind of changed me. And we'll talk about that in a little bit, but $70 a month, um, to have general care is ridiculous. Yeah. Um, and you guys also have, you guys can even, as far as family plans, there's a max, I think for families, right? Yeah. For uh, retail customers, that's going to be 200. Um, and that's like, we had this uh, family sign up the other day that had six kids, you know, yeah. and that was, that was a little, we don't want a whole lot of those. <laughs> yeah, we love them, but we don't want a whole lot of those because yeah. we'll mess it up. But some of the things that uh, really stand out about what we do is we guarantee no wait times. Um, if you have an appointment at nine o'clock, you're going to be seen at nine o'clock. We have a beautiful, even though I'm a Georgia fan, we have a beautiful orange couch in each of our locations and it's usually empty. I'm you assuming know? that's Brian's doing. Yeah, that's Brian's yeah, doing. Yeah, I, 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 I had no feel. control over that. I couldn't yeah, help it. I had a feeling. You know, and so you get there, your first appointment, we want you to plan for an hour. And I'll let Stacy talk about what we do during that first hour. And then after that, we have a HIPAA compliant app that you can communicate with our clinic. So you're either talking to Stacy, Dr. Coker, Josh, Mary, or Michelle, one of the one of the nurses. And you know, we we're gonna respond to you and Try to make sure we do everything we can to take care of you. And location-wise, you guys aren't just here in Cleveland. I know the if you're listening out there or watching on Facebook, you may be a little outside of the immediate Cleveland area, but you guys have several other locations as well, right? Yeah, we're in, we're in Dalton, and we're in Athens, and we are building out our property that we purchased in Knoxville. So we so, hope to be open in Knoxville soon. Folks, if you're listening right now, Facebook, it may be a little weird. If you're in California, we can't do a lot for you. That's a heck of a commute. However... Um, if you're if you're on the radio right now and you're listening, chances are there's a direct pri- direct primary care office somewhere near you. Um, and so we've talked about you know what kind of makes sets that up. And I can tell you from personal experience, he's not lying. You don't wait. Um, every time I've called with it that I needed to go to the doctor, something I didn't do for 20 years because I until I was so bad, I you know it didn't have a choice. Um, And a lot of times that ended up with me being in the ER instead of a primary care because I had waited till it got to the point where I didn't have a choice. And I'd rather go sit for eight hours in an ER one time instead of going to the doctor like I should. However, um, every time I've called, I've gotten in either that day or the next day. Yeah. Like it's crazy. Um, You don't wait. You, the doctors, the, 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 all the providers, they've, they've kind of, cleared out a half hour an hour and you you have their attention for that um so for everybody that we hear direct primary care so i'm gonna let's get stacy involved here stacy what do you think when you what for the folks that are listening what is direct primary care So the direct primary care model is relatively new to this area, but it's definitely been growing across the United States. And it's membership-based primary care. So it takes out that insurance middleman that can a lot of times muddy the waters and make care more costly but less accessible. Um, You know, in an insurance practice, these doctors in a primary care setting are seeing 20 to 30 people a day. So that means that you have minutes, like 
10 to 15 minutes at the most with your provider. You have time to talk about one problem yeah. if you're lucky. Um, and that's not how we do things. With the direct primary care model, because our patients are paying a monthly membership fee um, and we're not having to fool with insurance, um, our patients have already paid everything that we expect for them to pay before they've ever walked in the door. So nothing that we do for them has any basis in us trying to get more money out of them. Um, which is something that is definitely not the norm for healthcare these days. Um, but with direct primary care and a monthly membership fee that you pay on that ongoing basis, you have that unlimited access with that low monthly membership fee. Now with, and direct primary care, the model itself can be done um, in a variety of different ways. But the way that we do it specifically at Direct Primary Care Associates is we have a list of included labs, a list of included medications that the patient is not having any additional cost for. Um, we have several things in office procedure-wise that are of absolutely no additional cost. Anything that we can do hands-on with the patient in the office is never an additional cost. And I can tell you, when she says medication, she's talking prescriptions, folks. And if when you look at that list of prescriptions, chances are, those of you that are out there that do go to a doctor, if you're on blood pressure meds, allergy meds, I can tell you right now, half of my monthly fee was taken care of because I got a prescription for Zyrtec. Right. I got I, that. I was paying 30 bucks a month over the counter for because um, if you if anybody out here, you know, there's two types of people in Tennessee, ones that have allergies and ones that are about to. I learned that <laughs> when I moved here. Didn't never had allergies my entire life. Moved to Tennessee. Couldn't breathe one day. Uh, so it's it's uh, it really is an, an incredible model. And I know Tim alluded to this. What can people expect on their first visit with you, Stace? So on that first visit, um, we want to meet the patient. Um, if we're trying to get that well adult visit established for them, then we want to do fasting labs if those have not been done in a while. Um, and those, for the most part, are all included, unless you want something specialized like hormone testing, like vitamin testing. And then we do have very low cash prices for those things for people that don't have insurance or if you are an individual that has insurance you can use your insurance for the labs because we aren't billing for those the lab is billing for those yep. so you can still use your insurance for that and not have to pay anything additional out of pocket and that's really dependent upon your insurance policy and what your deductible is for what you would have to pay um, but we also uh, you know do a physical exam a pap smear is included in that so for the ladies in the community um, you know that's a great savings um, you know we try to do everything for our patients that we can as a one-stop shop. So anything that we can handle for our patients without having to send them out to specialists, we're going to try to do that. Um, but we're also going to talk to patients about our services, about everything that's included, about how they have those unlimited visits so they understand how that works. We're gonna tell them about our communication platforms and how they can use that HIPAA compliant texting app to communicate with us, to request refills, um, to do virtual visits or telemed visits so that if we can take care of them without them having to come into the office, then we're happy to do that. Um, and then we talk to them about how they use our electronic medical record access, their patient passport, to access their labs so that everything that we're doing for them, they have complete access to. And folks, I think one of the things that I'll say uh, on this level is it took me a minute because um, I'm typically a pretty cynical person to begin with. I try to be pretty optimistic, but you know, when you, when you've kind of grown up in the machine of insurance and in the medical kind of industry and what to come to expect with insurance and, Oh, I wonder if they'll approve this and oh, I've got to make sure I got to fight over this claim <clears throat> and to see sort of, and I call it, and, and it's no offense. I, I loved my general provider before. I wish I'd have got to know her more because I only got to see her for like three minutes every time I went to see her, but it was, that was my problem. I, I thought I felt like it was fast food medicine. Um, so it does. And I will tell you if, when you go there, you will be surprised because it will take you a minute to adjust of it's not just, okay, all this is available. It's a great bang for my buck. The reality is um, they care. And one of the things, Stacy, I can tell that as um, I'm, it's not HIPAA and compliant if I reveal it, right? Like I absolutely hated going to the doctor. I've always been a fat kid and you know, nobody likes going to the doctor and hearing all the bad things. When I left your office for the first time, it was the first time in 20 years I had left the doctor without shame. 
and felt cared for. Like you were treating the cause, not the symptom. You weren't just trying to run me through list and run me out the door to get to your next one. And personally, I just want to thank you for that. And second of all, it's just been, um, it's just changed. It's 45 years old. I know my business partner, we, we talk about this all the time. He literally avoided the doctor for 20 years before this. And now it's, it's like he didn't want to know what was wrong with him. Um, but now, but you know, it's probably going to keep us around a little longer. Imagine that. Huh, medicine and science. So we come back, we'll talk more about that. I know um, Stacy's got uh, some more to say. Tim's going to um, tell you some more things, especially for you guys that are business owners out there. Um, no matter how small or how big, he would love to talk to you about that. So when you come back, we're going to talk more about how you can uh, keep maintenance on yourself. And uh, so you can make sure to take care of that home and garden you've got at home. You're listening to Home Solutions. Stick around. We'll be right back right here on Mix 1041 and 101 through the Buzz. Are you tired of going to YouTube or Google for answers to your home improvement questions? Maybe you have more projects than you have time. No matter where you are in the process, Pro 93 Home Solutions is ready to serve you. Pro 93 is a local, veteran-owned company offering residential and commercial remodeling, cleaning, and security. Contact us today at 458-4135 or online at pro93homesolutions.com. Let the pros at Pro 93 find the solution for your home or business. That's 458-4135. Welcome back, everybody. Hopes everybody's still having a great Saturday. Thanks for sticking around. I've got Stacy and Tim from Direct Primary Care Associates with us today. Um, again, thank you guys for being here. And folks, if, if you missed the first half or you caught us at the tail end, um, Direct Primary Care is a uh, general provider service right here, Cleveland, Athens, Dalton area. They're building a new uh, one out in Knoxville. So if you're listening to us, you have access to them. Um, Seventy dollars a month, um, no contract to have to go to the doctor whenever you need to, um, and I can tell you, you know, we talked earlier about the the different labs and insurance, and um, recently I had to have an ultrasound. We were talking about some issues, and I thought I had a hernia. You thought I had a hernia. We needed to make sure I had a hernia. And what was funny is that, um, and maybe either one of you want to talk about this is one of the things you said because you know you guys have my insurance card went to the, you know, the imaging place and there was a $2 difference in what my insurance required me to pay as a copay and what you guys had already negotiated as a cash price for your customers. So talk a little bit about that of the stuff that some of that stuff that is extra. And Tim, I'm assuming you're probably one of the guys that's helped work those kind of deals. How do you guys, when you, uh, how have you, how has like building out your network outside of the kind of direct care or general care how has that worked in this in this area well i think stacy may have some input on this too but you know we work with uh cleveland imaging cleveland chattanooga dalton imaging um and you know it's it's amazing so last summer i had the unfortunate opportunity to break four ribs and puncture a <laughs> lung and i went in and uh they were like i said hey we run this against my insurance plus you know versus you know what cash prices so with insurance it was going to be 275 dollars or so plus a radiology read it was 65 dollars flat yeah with our cash price that we have negotiated for direct primary care associate uh clients yeah i'm, I'm not kidding you it was out because i asked her i said well i've got insurance but i came from direct primary care and she said it'll save you two dollars to go through your insurance and i was like okay let's put it through my insurance yeah. but i couldn't believe that because i was like for those of you that don't have insurance and listen I own a business where a lot of my guys and gals that work for me, they don't have insurance. Their kids have insurance or they've made sure they do, or their spouse does somewhere, but they, you know, they're, they don't. And this has become, when I say a lifesaver, I'm not being hyperbolic. It's been a lifesaver for a couple of my folks. Um, and it's, uh, I know one of our guys has literally going to a doctor for the first time forever helped catch a cancer very early um, and he's been out for quite some time and is actually coming back to work Monday with a clean bill of health. Great. So it's uh, folks just it, if you're looking for an option or you're unhappy where you are, um, how do they get a hold of you guys? Uh, directpca.com is our website. Our number in Cleveland is 423-650-4831. Give that one more time. Both of them? Sure. Directpca.com. And our number in Cleveland is 423-650-4831. And if you are driving around and you couldn't just scramble, 
to write that down. If you check us out on Facebook, we'll be on. Um, you'll be should be able to see that on uh, both the WCLE page, the radio page. Plus, um, we'll have it up on the Pro ninety three Home Solutions Facebook page, and I bet you guys will have it up too. Yes, we're all tagged, but you'll be able to go right to DC, DPCA's uh, uh, page and get them get all their contact info and probably some different locations as well if if that fits you from where you work or where you live. So it's a. Uh, I think one of the, the the issues with kind of the insurance model of that fast food kind of medicine, it's it's not the doctor's fault. It's the way the machine's built right now. Would you agree with that, Stacey? Absolutely. You know, your doctor um, wants to spend that time with you and wants to develop that relationship with you. And we know that whenever you've established therapeutic communication with a patient, when you've established a trust relationship, you're going to get more honesty out of them and you're going to get more transparency out of them. And we can care for you better when we know the truth about what's going on, when we know the cause behind the symptoms rather than band-aiding each symptom with a pill, we can get to that root cause. Preaching. And because of the machine mm-hmm. of medicine, we've lost that capability to be able to make that contact with our patients. And so that was really one of the biggest things that the direct primary care model wanted to change was that relationship, bring that relationship back. And so at Direct Primary Care Associates, you know, we that is one of the biggest things that we value is creating that relationship with our patients where they feel like family, where they feel important to us, where they feel comfortable coming to us with those needs, things that they would have not even thought to tell someone about before or just push to the back burner until it compounds and compounds and completely changes the trajectory of their health as they age. And if we have that relationship with our patients, just like you said, you know, the, the initial um relationship that you and I built, the rapport that we built, created an atmosphere where you felt comfortable for us to get into some of the harder topics and talk and talk about things that could get to some root issues rather than just band-aiding symptoms. Yeah. And it's it to say, and, and, you know, I don't talk about it a whole lot, but if you've seen me lately, you've seen a lot less of me lately, but you know, that was the beginning of the process for me to finally tackle my weight and, and do something about it. And, you know, you, you get credit for a lot of those 175 pounds that are gone. So I appreciate that. Thank you. So how is that, you know, obviously I'm sure you worked in that medical machine before direct primary care. Absolutely. Um, did you, I, I know this must have been enticing for you, the idea of it. But once you got in and began to do it, what did that mean for you personally? As you know, this is obviously, people don't go through as much school as you guys go through on a whim. This is something you felt like you were called to do. How has it changed your kind of view of medicine and and caring for people? And what's, I guess, just what's your personal story? So a lot of time, and I was a nurse for 13 years before I went back to school. Um, When you're a nurse, when you're working in the healthcare field, a lot of, and there are people that are in those jobs that have no business being in those jobs, just like, (laughs) just like in any, in any avenue. But for the most part, you're getting a group of people who are caregivers to their soul, who genuinely want to care for people who have a servant's heart, who want to love on people, who want to make that person feel better, to make their life better, their quality of life better. Um, And you find out very quickly in the machine of medicine that you don't have the time and you don't have the resources to be what you need for people. How dejecting is that? It's so dejecting. And that's why we have so much burnout. Yeah. We we have healthcare providers that are overworked, understaffed, and they're so jaded with the process that they end up leaving the workforce in droves. I have so many friends who are nurse practitioners that were so burnt out with that bedside nursing role. They went back to school, they got their degree to be a nurse practitioner, and now they hate their job as a nurse practitioner. And they're ha- you know, they have all of these student loans and yeah. they're seeing, you know, 20, 30, 60 people a day going home with hours and hours of charting and they hate it. Um, but now they're stuck because they have all these student loans. Yeah. And so whenever 
um, you know, I, I was working in another job um, doing home visits, and I get this call from Brian Fretwell out of the clear blue yonder. Um, had not seen Brian Fretwell since we had worked in the ER together at Tenova. And he was like, you know, hey, I want you to come and talk to me. I, I've got something going on, and I think that you have the type of personality that I'm looking for, and I just want to talk to you about it. Um, and so I went and I talked to him about it. And I had never heard anything like what he was talking about before. I didn't even know that that was a possibility. And he changed my life yeah. because I get to care for people. I get to love on people. I get to, I have the time to find ways for my patients to access the things that they need at as little cost to them as is possible. There's so much that we can do the legwork on because we have the time to that other providers don't. They want to, but they don't have the time. They don't have the, the time between their work day, their family lives, and, and home um, to do these things. And that's something that we are able to do because we're set up to see less patients per day to be able to spend more time individually with each patient. So, Tim, for your next marketing, I think you just need to put up a camera and let Stacy go. I don't think that's, you need to, I don't that's think, all we need to do. I don't think you need to do. Anything I don't need else. to do anything. I just I'm, need. I'm sold again. Like I'm uh, going to buy another membership and I okay, already have great, one. Okay, great, great. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, that was not binding, by the way. That was just. Oh, that, that was, was that was hyperbole. I'm pretty positive. <laughs> no, that was binding. Well, you Definitely. brought up a good point. It's not just the people per day, but each one of your providers, because I know you guys have added quite a few just in the last couple of years since I've been seeing you guys. You guys are you guys set way different caps for your total number of patients Absolutely. than what most people see. Yeah. Absolutely. Talk a little bit about what's normal out there for a general practitioner versus what you guys do at direct primary care. So a general practitioner may have several thousand patients in their patient panel. Um, and like I said, they're going to see um, in in an adult primary care office, 20 to 30 patients a day. In a pediatric office, that's going to be way more. In an urgent care, that's going to be way more when you're yeah. spending even less time potentially with these people. Um, and at direct primary care associates, we have our cap at 600. And so our our providers are responsible for in the neighborhood of right at 600 patients per provider. All of our well adult visits, and, and Tim alluded to this earlier, are an hour. We want to see you for an hour for that initial well visit and for each well visit thereafter. Every time that it's time for your annual wellness visit where we talk about all the things, all the preventative things, um, we do that for an hour. All of our follow-up are 30 minutes minimum. So that means if you don't need that time, then that's completely fine. But if you need that time with your provider, you 100% have that uninterrupted time. And I can tell you, I have, I honestly can tell you, I don't think I've waited more than three or four minutes. There was times at your old location where I'd walk in and I, because of the way that was set up, if you're in the back and Mary when them were over there, where you didn't, it wasn't you didn't know you were in a waiting room because there was no one else there waiting like you didn't the only other patients i've ever seen are the ones that are out the door as i'm walking in while you guys are getting the office ready for me to come in like it is absolutely they are not selling you a bill of goods folks it is legit um it has changed the way i view it the, with this and we only have a couple minutes left here we're up against it tim but to our small business owners out there um or big business owners out there talk a little bit of how they can they can bring you guys in as an employee benefit okay thanks for that dennis um so 80 percent of our of our patient population is through what we call a sponsor so like your guys through pro 93 um either you pay for part of it they pay for all of it whatever the case may be um we have brought on some you know some pretty nice sized customers um we have 60 some odd um, businesses total. I think our largest is about 400, um, and our smallest is a consulting company of one. Yeah. Um, and you know, we want to work with. Uh, this past week, I signed up a uh, a landscape company of 12. Yeah. And a construction company of five. That actually, you were yeah. uh, helpful on that. So yeah. I appreciate it. So, um, you know, we're happy to work with any size business, and always, you know, I'm 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 the go-to on that. I'm the person that will come out. If you're a if you're a company that offers insurance, we actually work with several insurance brokers that will kind of help customize a plan that will pull down some cost. So it actually will free up money to pay for us, for your employees. And so, like, we signed up a group last year 
they had 75 employees and with adding us and changing their insurance plan, it their total cost was 32% cheaper than their insurance only plan last year. And I can tell you this, most of my guys and gals that have this, um, a lot of them have their spouses, some have their kids covered, but they're paying less than a one hour a week yeah. for this. Yeah. Less than what they're making in an hour of pay. Um, so it, it's possible. It's fantastic. Every time Tim comes to our office, he gets somebody else who was reluctant the last time we were there because they've heard the stories of everybody else in the office who is like, oh, my gosh, you know, this we got, got to go over there and actually get it. So, uh, again, if, you, if you've got that option or if you're at a location where you know the owner, you're, maybe you're working somewhere where you would love to have the opportunity to, to get this, Talk to your owner. Get him out there. And and right now, everybody's looking for a way to try to keep and retain employees, uh, which is why I talked to some of our buddies, the guys that we sent over to you guys, because they were, you know, good helps hard to find right now. Yeah. Everybody, there's too much competition. Everybody's hiring. So finding somebody and holding on to them and giving them something like this as an option is a great perk as a business owner. And it's, it's, it's helped us retain some folks. So... Listen, I know we're out of time. We could talk about this for another half hour, but for Stacy, Tim, thank you guys so much for being here. Thanks for having Thanks us. For having Appreciate us. for what you've done for me personally, for our business, and what you're doing for the community. I love the business model, and we didn't have to talk about Tennessee football very much because Brian wasn't here. That's true. You know, for a Georgia fan and a one, you know, Ohio State fan, what are you? Go Vols. <laughs> now I got to change doctors. Okay. <laughs> <sighs> anyway, listen, thank you guys so much for listening today. Thank you for continuing to, to support us. Uh, listen, remember, take care of your family, logo love on your neighbor, and we're all in this together. We'll see you next Saturday. You've been listening to Home Solutions right here on Mitch 104.1 and 101.3 The Bus.